In this video, you will master viewport navigation inside Unreal Engine 5. I will show you all the shortcut keys you need to know, how to navigate inside perspective viewport and orthographic viewports. So in about 10 minutes, you will know everything you need for how to navigate in UE5. To navigate inside the perspective viewport, the first shortcut key is if you hold the right mouse button and you move your mouse around, this will look around. If you hold the left mouse button and move the mouse, and move the mouse forward and back, this will move you forward and back. And if you move the mouse left and right, this will look to the sides. If you hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse, this will move you up move you down, and if you move left and right, this will move the camera left and right. So these three keys alone right now is majority of your moving around and controlling the viewport navigation. If you hold down the left and the right mouse button together, and then move the mouse up and down, this will move the camera up and down, left and right. So this is the same shortcut key as if you hold the middle mouse button. Instead of holding the middle mouse button, you can hold the left and the right together so some uh, mouse don't have the middle mouse key. So you could do this uh, with the left and the right mouse button together. If you use the mouse wheel, scroll forward and scroll back, this will kind of zoom step you forward and back. Well, I guess it's not really zooming in. It's uh, moving the camera in increment distances, forward and back. And the next shortcut key will pretty much give you everything you ever need to navigate inside Unreal inside the perspective viewport. So if you hold down the right mouse button as you are looking around and then you use the WASD keys, this will move you forward back and side to side like you would expect inside a first person shooter or a third person if you are if you play on a PC. So with the right mouse button pressed down, W will move you forward, S will move you back, A will move you to the left, and D will move you to the right. And just a combination and then you just use your mouse to look around at the same time as you move the WASD keys to fly around the world and to look around. And then with the combinations of the other keys, you can just move the camera up and down, left and right. And then if you need to fly forward or uh, get a little closer or get further back, just use the ASWD keys. So this is a fantastic shortcut, very intuitive. And with these combinations of shortcut keys, you pretty much have everything you need to navigate inside the perspective viewport. If you hold down the right mouse button and then press the Z key and hold it down, this will zoom you out. The camera is still in the same position, but it's kind of a, it's zooming out and giving you a, a, a wider field of view. And then if you let go of the right mouse button, the camera goes back to its uh, regular focal, uh, focal length. If you press the right mouse key and then hold C, this will zoom you in. And if you let go of the right mouse button, it just snaps back. So these are very useful when you don't want to move the camera forward or back to an object and you are further away inside the environment, but you want to see it. Maybe just inspect it really quick without actually getting close to it physically. Now, when you get to larger environments, you may need to move a lot faster in the world. So to navigate, let's say I want to go somewhere off in space down there. If I use the same camera speed uh, at the default, it would take me a long time to get there. Same thing if I want to maybe slow down. Let's say I'm working on a very detailed area and I want to slow down the camera. Right now, it's way too quick for me to just to let, take a look at this uh, a few little squares. So you can control the camera speed at the top right right here where you see in the number four and a little camera icon. If you left click on this, this will give you access to lower the camera speed. So let's go ahead and lower it to one. And if I hold the right mouse button and then use the WASD keys, you can see how slow it moves. So this is great for detail work. And if I need to speed this up, I can just go ahead and uh, let's say let's go up to eight. And it's going to be really quick. Just zoom you in and zoom you out. So this is great for uh, large worlds. Let's go back down to four. Next is the ability to switch to other viewports. So we've been entire time inside the perspective viewport but you can switch to orthographic viewports, which are top-down views or side views that take place in wireframe. First way is to come over to the top right and you're gonna see a tiny little icon which allows you to maximize and restore a viewport. So if I click on this icon right now, 
from the perspective viewport, this will put me in that two by two view. And you can see I have back, right, and top views available to me now. If I want to maximize those viewports, just come over to those viewports and just click on this icon right here to maximize it. And now I have this main top view as my main view to look at and to work from. Let me go back to perspective, maximize that. You do have shortcut keys to switch to any of those orthographic viewports as well as more by coming over to the top left where you see perspective inside the viewport, left click on it, and then you have top, bottom, left, right, front, and back. And each of those are associated hotkeys, so you can you may want to write those down if you want to use the shortcut keys. But there is a quicker view to switch to any of those views within the main viewport itself using control and then middle mouse click and drag in four, actually five different directions to switch your current perspective view to another view. So here's how you do this. Well, once you have a, a viewport maximized and you're working at it, hold down control, middle mouse click and drag to the top. This will switch you to a top view. Continue holding down control. Middle mouse click and drag down. This will switch you to bottom view. Then middle mouse click and drag to left, switches you to a back orthographic view. And control middle mouse click and drag to the right gives you a front view. And if you want to go back to perspective, hold down control and middle mouse click and drag diagonally to the bottom left. Puts you back into perspective. To navigate inside orthographic viewports, let's go ahead and switch. The shortcut keys will work for all other orthographic viewports. If you hold down the right mouse button, move your mouse, this will pan you around. If you hold down the left mouse button and move your mouse, this will more key select objects inside that view. If you hold down the left and the right mouse button together and then move your mouse forward and back, this will zoom you in and zoom you out. You can also zoom in incrementally by using the mouse wheel. So it'll kind of snap step by moving the camera closer or further. And then if you middle mouse click and drag, this will give you a measuring tool. This will become very handy when you are dealing with measuring distances or you are trying to decide how tall or how wide something is, some you know, like a piece of geometry. And uh, these units that pop up by middle mouse click and drag are set in centimeters. If you need an additional extra perspective or orthographic viewport as a floating window, you can do that by going to Window, Viewports, and opening up any of these viewports right here. So let's do Viewport 2. This gives you another extra viewport to work from, and it's independent from your main one. So you can see I'm moving the camera here, but nothing is happening in the other one. And you can switch to any other orthographic views if you need it. Another very useful way to jump over to a camera position anywhere in the world is setting up camera bookmarks. So whenever you're working on a large environment or even a small environment, you may want to remember certain camera placement and you want to be able to jump back to them. If you go to this icon on the top left, a little circle with three lines, here you have bookmarks. This default level already has a single bookmark already set up for you, but then you can also set bookmarks. And you can see they all have shortcut keys. You can clear bookmarks. So if you have bookmarks set, you can go ahead and clear them or you can clear them all. But instead of using this, which you can, I'm going to show you the shortcut keys instead. So let's say I'm flying around. Let's say uh, I like this new camera position. I'm going to be able to jump to this anytime I want. And uh, the hotkey one in this basic level is already set to a hotkey, to a camera bookmark. So if I press one right now, I will jump back to where Epic is already set this for us. But I can override this and set, my, set up my own. But let's say I want to keep this first one. And then uh, let's say I want to set up a second camera bookmark right here in this corner. I want to be able to jump to it anytime I need. So if I press control and press on any of the numeric keys, so I can do control one, but one is already used. So I'll do control two. This will remember this bookmark and this camera position. And then if I fly away and I press two on the keyboard, it will jump back right to that camera bookmark. One will jump back to that default. That's already set for the level. Two will jump back to that. So let's say I want to set up another one right over here. Uh, let's just say maybe a little further back. Let's do control three. So now I have three camera bookmarks. I have one, I have two, and I have three. So control and any of the numbers zero to nine will set up a camera bookmark. And then all you have to do is press any of the numeric values from zero to nine to jump to them. Of course, navigation is just a very small chunk of what you need to know to get started with UE5. 
And if you want to learn Unreal Engine 5 completely from scratch, without any previous knowledge of using the engine, then I have a tutorial course where I will teach you how to create environments inside Unreal Engine 5 completely from scratch. It includes three modules, 40 videos, and over 11 plus hours of knowledge. You'll learn how to use the engine, how to construct environments, how to light them, how to use the modeling mode, and much more. You can download it right now by clicking the link in the description box, or if you are on the blog post on worldleveldesign.com, you'll see a link there as well.